part seven. All right, so we're making a lot of progress here. You see where we got the bow to, we got the tape off. Everything's tailored, everything's pulling good. Next thing's gonna be the tip overlays. That's what we're gonna work on now. So hit that like and subscribe, stay tuned. All right, so basically the idea here is to thicken up these limb tips to help protect them from the pulls. And there'll be some cleanup of these string grooves a little bit more as I get things on there. But basically what I have to use is I've got some of this, which if you remember, this was my accent stripe in the hardwood riser over here. That's the white, whitish, uh, light colored stripe there. Also had an extra piece of phenolic, black phenolic in there. And then, you know, when we did our limbs, the laminations were longer than we needed. And so we trimmed them to size. And so I got some of this. So I'm kind of thinking of doing, maybe putting the light color down, the black, and then part of the limb tip on there and gluing this on there and basically using that for my overlay. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So there'll be three layers. Of course, I'll get sanded and rounded off and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's the pattern I'm going to go with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this to manageable sizes and get the epoxy mixed up, ready to go. Get the light ready to go because once this is all glued on, we're going to clamp these into place and just put it near a light. We don't put it back in the heat box because I'm guessing because the, the limbs could delaminate if we put them under heat again or something. I'm not sure. But so basically, we just want to heat up the limb tips a little bit. So I'm going to get a light and a lamp type setup put these on for four hours and and first of all i got my my pieces cut so we're going to get all these first of all we're going to sand each piece especially the black manelic and and the limb tip here uh, so the glue adheres real well it's going to layer up like that on there what we need to do is we need to put masking tape across the the, the limb to, so we don't want to epoxy get down on us get that masking tape on there about the size that it's going to be Okay, since we're going to glue on these tips here, I've got some 150. I'm just going to rough this up a little bit. And then I'm also going to go ahead and try to sand this. I'm going to try and spin it here a little bit. Okay, so one thing I want to point out is, you know, with the part A and the part B that you get here, I think this, these were the pint cans or the smaller cans, I think, but the resin and the hardener. And you see I've used almost all of it up at this point. So that was enough to cover one bow, which was all your limb laminations, laminations on your riser block which i had seven pieces of wood there you know glue for your limb hardware and now for your tips and i think that's the last piece we're going to glue on there so I'm just going to get this mixed up and then we'll get these limb tips epoxied on there all right so i got my epoxy mixed up i'm going to do the white black brown i think what i'm going to do is epoxy the three pieces together and then finally epoxy put the epoxy on the limb tip do it that way is what i think i'm going to do so start with this piece Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is line up the three pieces as best I can. So now I'm going to just put it on the limb right there. The key thing here is you wanna make sure each piece of wood, since they're different sizes, is gonna be you know where you need it to be. And I think that looks good. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put another piece of, this is left over from the limb. So I'll put this behind it to protect the back of it here as I clamp down. All right, so I feel like each piece of the wood is outside the boundaries of the limb tip. And I think we're pretty good lined up there because this is going to get sanded down. Okay, I'm trying something a little different. This one doesn't seem really hard, so I'm going to do one piece at a time and just set it up here and see if that makes it easier. I know I have to slide it around and stuff, but I'm just wondering if that would make it a little bit easier maybe. I don't really know. But what I should have done is both of these sides before I actually set this up here. But I think I'm going to hook one piece at a time up here. So I think I'm going to do. Okay, got them clamped, set up by the light. I just used one of the 200-watt bulbs that I've had. It doesn't feel like it's too terribly hot right in here. So I'm just gonna leave some space and let this sit up for about four hours. 
That was kind of tough to do with three level, three layers of wood getting added to that. I used a, a piece of wood on the back of it just to back it, you know, so I didn't get clamp marks in the fiberglass. But both methods I tried, I don't know if one was more better than the other. They were both difficult to get them lined up and stuff and make sure that, I know it's going to get all sanded down, so it don't have to be super accurate, but you want to get down the, to the line of where it's at, you know, where it needs to be, where the tape line is and from there. So anyway, we're going to let this go for four hours and then we'll, let it dry, and then I guess tomorrow when I get home from work, I'll try to trim this up and see what it looks like. Four hours later, so get this light turned off, and yeah, just and I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow. I'm gonna start. All right. So hindsight is 2020. If I did this again, I didn't think about this after I did it, but I would cut all my pieces of wood here to be the exact same size. It would just be so much easier to line these things up. I think than the way I did it with just you know rough sizes for each piece of it. I think it would have just been a lot, a lot easier to do. Looks like I've got good glue adherence there though. So I'm gonna take this over to the sander, see if I can get this closer down to shape on the sander on these tips here, and then, you know, work on the knot grooves and just see how well this is gonna be glued up. So at this point, I'm not really sure what to do to get this shape down. So I think I'm gonna end up maybe taking a rasp to it and just kind of working it slowly to get it to where I need it to be. That's kind of what I'm thinking anyway, but we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so here's what I got the limb tips down to. I did that on the sander. That's still some of the uh, masking tape down here that I gotta work off that was there. So that's just the, the rough piece that I did on the sanding belt still, just kind of working it around. And so now I'm gonna I guess take some sandpaper myself and just kind of manually try to clean this up the way I want it. All right, I've just kind of got this clamped with a glove around it to protect the limb. And I'm just got this piece of 150. I'm gonna use this to try to just kind of get what I need to out of here, see if this will work. Again, this is not something I've got experience with, so I'm just trying to feel my way through this one here. All right, so there's my limb tips. And I will say, this first time I've done some, it's, you know, that, especially that right one's not so perfect and I kept working on it and I'm just not sure what I can do to get that one a little better, but I haven't cut my string knot grooves. Anyway, it's kind of a little bit of difficult, a little challenge there, but I think I'm gonna go with what I got here and go ahead and cut my knot grooves out. One thing I've learned about myself is I do not like Cutting string grooves. It just makes me nervous. Uh, you gotta take your time with it. And I'm actually using a, a chainsaw file that I use for my steel chainsaw. I feel like it's a little smaller than what was recommended and I feel like it fits the string better and I can control it better. So it's just one of those things you gotta take your time with and try to make sure everything lines up right. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. All right, I went ahead and strung it up again because I did work on these uh, string grooves and I just want to see how that you know, if I introduce any limb twist into it by screwing something up. And here's one thing I learned. This one, string goes in there really good, but upon stringing it up, you can look at this tip and see that I clearly need to make that a little deeper there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And But I did check limb twist and I don't have any limb twist. Everything still lines up great. So I think once I get this fixed right here, I'm gonna call it a wrap on these limb tips. All right, I think I got my limb tips finished here. That was probably, the most nervous part of the whole thing is just cutting these knockers out, I think, for me. But anyway, limb tips are done. Got them on both sides. Got my string grooves notched out. So they're dulled from the sanding I was doing on them. Of course, this whole thing is going to get dulled in the end before it gets better as we sand things down for a finishing process. But next step is going to be the riser. So I've been really looking forward to that. Stay tuned, and now that'll be the next video, cutting this riser out and getting it shaped.